Joe Adonis, born Giuseppe Antonio Dodo on November 22, 1902, in Montemirano, Italy, is a prominent figure in the annals of American organized crime. Adonis immigrated to the United States with his family in 1909, settling in Brooklyn, New York. Growing up in a neighborhood teeming with criminal activity, Adonis quickly became involved in the underworld. He entered the world of organized crime during the Prohibition era, a time when illicit activities such as bootlegging and racketeering flourished. While working on the streets, Adonis became friends with future mob boss Charles Lucky Luciano and mobster Settimo Accardi, who were involved in illegal gambling. Adonis developed a loyalty to Luciano that lasted for decades. At the beginning of Prohibition, Luciano, Adonis, Meyer Lansky, and Bugsy Siegel started a bootlegging operation in Brooklyn. This operation soon began supplying large amounts of alcohol to the show business community along Broadway and Manhattan. Dodo soon assumed the role of a gentleman bootlegger socializing with the theater elite. His strategic mind and business smarts soon earned him a reputation within the mafia. His involvement in illegal gambling operations, labor racketeering, and loan sharking catapulted him to prominence. His ability to navigate the dynamics of organized crime contributed to his rise through the ranks. One of Adonis's notable endeavors was his involvement in the lucrative illegal gambling industry. He played a pivotal role in establishing and operating numerous gambling dens, which became sources of immense wealth for the mafia. Poe's influence extended beyond the criminal underworld as he cultivated connections with politicians, law enforcement officials, and influential individuals. Adonis placed many politicians and high-ranking police officers on his payroll. Adonis used his political influence to assist members of the Luciano crime family, such as Luciano and Genovese and mob associates such as Meyer Lansky and Louis Buck Alter the head of Murder Incorporated. Adonis's criminal activities did not go unnoticed. Law enforcement agencies fueled by public outrage over organized crime intensified their efforts to dismantle the mafia. Adonis faced several legal challenges throughout his life, including arrests and convictions for various offenses such as tax evasion and conspiracy. Despite these setbacks, he managed to avoid long-term imprisonment, often employing legal loopholes or utilizing his connections to secure lenient sentences. His personal life was also marked by intrigue. His relationships with high-profile individuals, including actress and socialite Inga Arvad, added a layer of complexity to his public image. The intertwining of organized crime and Hollywood glamour showcased the far-reaching influence of figures like Adonis. In 1951, he was convicted of violating gambling laws and sentenced to two to three years in prison. On January 3, 1956, Adonis voluntarily left New York City on an ocean liner for Naples, Italy. His wife and children stayed behind in New Jersey. In late November 1971, Italian police forces transported Adonis to a small hillside shack near Ancona, Italy for interrogation. During the lengthy questioning and some abusive treatment, Adonis suffered a heart attack. He was taken to a regional hospital in Ancona where he died several days later on November 26, 1971.